citizens, Southeast residents, shouldn't raise over the new Igbo militant group. Ever since the Nigerian Security Formation had ordered the security operative across the region to deal mercilessly with anyone disrupting the peace of the Southeast region, there has been a little bit of calmness. The issue of insecurity ravaging the country has been a thing of great concern following different kinds of attack from several insurgents such as Boko Haram ISWAP terrorists, killer Fulani, headsmen, unknown gunmen, bandits, kidnappers, many more. Before now, the security agencies in the southeast region have fought and cooped the activities of insurgents in this region the activities of the militia arm of the indigenous people of biafra ipov eastern security network has really caused a lot of mayhem across the region it is alleged that the they are the unknown gunmen the set of insurgents have been have been responsible for the attacks on security agencies and raising of government facilities like police station INEC office etc a lot of residents have been dislodged from their homes some have lost their lives jobs and properties etc especially those in Olu Abia Eboi Anambra etc have had terrible experience as regard the ESN saga Kudos to the security formation who took it upon themselves to fight against these activities. Who knows what would have happened if they continue. Following the creation of ESN, the South East leaders didn't approve them, which made the made them create a group known as Ibubiagu. Though it didn't function for once because it wasn't approved by the federal government. This prover that there is a disagreement over creation of multiple militant groups in the region. A vast majority of the Igbos seem to be excited over the creation of the new outlawed militant group known as Biafra Motherland Warrior. But the truth remains that this could make them vulnerable to attacks if it is not silenced now. Who knows what their plans are? See two reasons why the South Eastern should not be excited over the new outlawed Igbo militant group, Biafra Motherland. The one, the creation of multiple armed groups might endanger the life of South East residents if not stopped. Two, the federal government is looking for a way to disarm those with weapons or ammunition across the country. Hmm. Okay, well, let them not go and face these northern people that are busy killing everyone in the region of the north. Let them continue facing the people of the southern parts where there is peace and calmness. Let them not go to the north and face their problem there. This administration is very funny oh, because look at the level of insurgent and insecurity in the north and they are not facing those people. Instead, they are busy facing the eastern part of the country where there is no no problem, no chaos, everything is fine over here. If not for all those politicians that are trying so hard to create problems where there are none. Or else, there is no any problem. Just imagine a whole DNA was attacked and they did nothing about it. Up to now, they have not come out to say anything about it or tell us how the investigation is going about or how many people has been arrested for the attacks. No, no, no. He said they are busy facing the eastern people that has nothing to do with all those atrocities if you have sense you could have find solution to your problem your own is burning every day no single solution who is deceiving who ho oh, oh, ho i said it federal government killer headsmen islamic military and boko haram they are all out there let those military men go to the north and fight to leave Igbo land alone hmm. People all over the world who want true leadership to look forward to those who have visions and who share their views for others to know. The problem we have now is the impoverished youth and the general public that cannot 
decide what they want without being influenced by money makers and rich men. The other problem is poverty of the mind inst instituted intentionally to ensure that many people are not educated to the level of knowing how to decide on what is right for them. The ASU, doctors, not ETC, my treatment in terms of what these agencies need to be up and doing in their various establishments are all intentional ways to subdue the society and render her system unfunctional. But we must realize that opinion of people at various levels are vital. Let us know well that forming militants group now and then is not the solution. Without wisdom of God in the hearts of people, any attempt of doing things right would be a really waste of time and energy lets decision makers in the society get god involved in anything they do what to decide on let they not be wasting their time and energy on things that would have been done with east <laughs> the federal government should start the disarmament in the northern region where different kinds of weapons are in display if the federal government was to handle the security situation seriously all the criminal elements would have wouldn't have access to such weapons mr president once said that the states should defend themselves by question is how it's criminal for anyone to own some some classes of weapons as we are seeing today nigeria has become an animal kingdom APC has really given us change from bad to worse. OSE. Hmm. No, Buhari said you do not. You do nothing when come around. Hmm. Okay, oh, so we should do and allow those people to keep all of us. There is no way any man in his right senses we sit down and allow bandits to come and invade his family and kill everyone in his presence without him at least trying to fight these people hmm. this group were formed by zoo nigeria they want to confuse egos and biafra so that they will enter biafra inside and finish them my people be wise so hmm. a word is enough for the wise hmm. Samuel autumn be courageous with armor God and glory will give you pebble stone to defeat Goliath. <laughs> Northern Nigeria are like Taliban. Leave South alone. Exactly. They should us alone because we can fight for ourselves. We are not as gullible as those Northern people who knows what is right but refuse to do the right thing. Well, you can go to the comment section and share your take on this article. Thanks for listening.